So here we go. A couple of weeks ago, I was looking online at a drone, looking for a drone. Just to add a bit of perspective to my videos, you know. Been in some nice places and I thought, you know, a drone would be good. I used to have one. I used to have a Mavic, the Phantom, not the Mavic, the DJI Phantom. Great big thing it was. And it was so hard to cart around, but yeah, and it went, didn't go very far and it, the quality of the pick. I mean, it was all right for its time. Anyway, these kind people at Ruko have got in touch and offered to send me this. It's two axis stabilized gimbal, 4K Wi-Fi camera. That's a peel in the 4K camera. Brushless motor, so I'm presuming that makes it quieter. Super long remote control range. Look at all the uh, instructions there. It comes in this nice box. So this is the first time really of opening the box. Let's have a look what's in. Oh. I could do this video in a few parts because obviously I can't fly it in here. I'm going to have to take it out. The weather's appalling so I'm hoping it's going to cheer up a bit. Oh, that's a handy bag, is it? Look. Keep that. Nice. Nice little case in it. Oh yeah, that feels nice and protective. Protective case. And we'll look on it. So let's have a look in the case. Well laid out, what I've got in here. Manual. Just have a look at what's in the box to start with. That's silica gel. That'll be um, a charger cable, probably a C type. Another one, because there's two batteries. That's. What is one heck of a manual, lad? Ah, it's one of them ones. The English instructions will be in it somewhere. It's not. So basically that is your manual. Where does it end? There. That's the manual there. That, that thickness. <laughs> That's your English instructions. I'm going to read that properly. Quick guide. Again, all of the languages. That's your... Uh, That's where that is. That's your quick guide there. So it's not that much to read. That's all right. Blades. Obvious, really, what they are. Spare spare blades, I must add. Spares. This is your second battery. I'm sure the battery's already on there. All right, so, oh, look at that. I love, a, I love a case with indents where you can put things. That's this. this is the controller. <clears throat> yeah. There. Ah. Yeah, that's the controller. The on and off. It looks pretty simple, doesn't it? Like I say, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going through all this. You put your phone in there. I'll have to work out how to adjust that, but your phone will sit in there anyway. Alright. And finally, here's the little that sits on a little pad is the little drone. Look at that. Well, I don't know how big the um, the Mavic drones are, but I don't think they're much bigger than that. Are they? It's obviously all sealed up, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open it all on camera. It'll take forever. But yeah, look at that. Even without the case, you could get that in your pocket, couldn't you? In your core pocket, if you wanted to. Coupled with that, that's all you'd need to carry. So you could get everything in your hand like that. That must be the battery there. That feels nice. This is tying up the blades, stop them flapping around here. That's a good idea. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a weather window because like I say, at the minute the weather is absolutely terrible. It's windy, it's freezing cold, it was raining earlier. 
it says it's quite stable in high winds well we don't know how high wind I don't really want to find that out on the first flight so I'll get a bit more accom accustomed to it um, but yeah so far so good feels nice feels quality this case is lovely I mean that feels sturdy and feels a lot better than the, um, the phantom drone controller that I had I just put it all back down and yeah, stick it in there ah oh, it fits in lovely I love things that fit in you get your cables your spare blades a little net there for all your bits and bobs like I say I'm going to read the manual I've, re I've read I've watched other reviews and they tell you read the manual and find out exactly what you're doing and don't muck about on the first flight so there you go, first look, Rupo Drone on Amazon. All the links, of course, will be in the description. I think for that setup, it's about, um, I'm not sure, about £390 or something. 399 maybe. I'm not sure if I've got a discount code. I'm not 100% sure, I'll have to check that. But even so, if it's, if it's as good as what it claims to be, 399 for a drone like that 4k can't go wrong really so we'll come back when we're outside or if I get it charged up and I can work out a way to demonstrate it in the house without trashing the place <laughs> right so what we have here is the drone itself so you unfold it I fully charged it the charge the spare battery as well, just in case. Uh, just unfold it like that. I took the um, took the camera protector off. It goes on there, and protects that when it's in um, in the case. So you just take it off, you click it off. It just clicks on and off. So you got. I will just set that down there for a minute. In the cow's muck, <laughs> and you get the controller. Pull the aerials up. Pull the handles down. Oh, it just feels, just feels nicer. And then. This is where it gets complex, right? So I put the Bluetooth on the phone. I've got on at the minute. You get the app, the Ruko app, which you download. Um, you download. There's a, a barcode on the box, and you just scan it, and you can download it that way. Right? It's asking us to connect the drone, so you've got to switch it all on. So it's a press and hold. See the blue lights. You get the red lights there, flashing. You switch this on. Battery 100%. There you go, power on. Connecting, right? So the lights, when it connects to that, the lights should go pink. It's fine, isn't it? It's looking. Searching. There we go. Yeah, they've got, well, it's like pink. They go light and they go purple pink from red to that color. Right, the GPS mode, that's on. So then you go into the phone and you go to the Wi Fi. Right, and there, it's there. So just connect. Well, it says, this be a tick. Here we go, connected. So now you go back to the app, turn it on its side, and put it in the, uh, the thingy magic. Be careful, there's a button on the side there, you just close the phone down. Right, so there you go, you're all set up now. So what you've got to do is calibrate the drone. That's it. Press the controls, gives you uh, gives you a little video of what to do. 
how to set it up and that. I've already watched that. I'm in beginner mode at the minute. That's another video of uh, your areas and where you should fly it. Common sense as well. Tells you where you should fly it, really. Try to get out of that. All right, unfold it all. Tells you, there you go. What we have to do is, it's just, this is just telling you what you've got to do, you know. Go, right, so it's telling us now, I've got to calibrate the drone, right, so, wait there. So what you do is, hold it like that, and you go around, so you can turn the drone itself, but I can round. Right, that beeps, and then you hold it that way, <laughs> it does the same thing, <laughs> like an idiot. There you go, it's beeped again, so it's calibrated. Set it down somewhere. Now that is worth doing. Ugh. It's worth doing because it brings it back to this point where you take off from. So to take off, I think you lift the camera, the camera needs lifting up there. It's in the grass. You've got all these controls on the front. Zoom. Uh, right, so to start it up, right, you just get these two buttons here, and that's it. That's it. The wind has that, you know. The wind's really got that. So the controls are just simple. This is up and down, backwards and forwards. And coming down, up. Turn it around. Come back towards me. Move it around. So we go forward, push it forward. <laughs> Backwards, forwards. So it's pretty simple, basic, straightforward stuff. So we'll get some footage, then we'll come back. But that is a good, good little setup, that. After that, we are back in the house. Um, oh, I just got too cold to be standing out filming. But I mean, I got a tiny bit of footage. I'll put another um, clip in my main video. But for this, 
what's my conclusion so far right so good up to now i think it's great this is so easy to use um the screen comes on your phone and tells you everything you need to know there's all sorts of icons you need to remember which are in the book and the little book tells you everything you need to know about that the icons and what means what but yeah it's good i just need to find a better way of carrying it i don't know if i can take this case up a hill it went in my backpack coming down but that was because i half emptied it but yeah i mean it's not heavy we probably could just carry it if you're not going to a huge walk long long hike or anything like that but yeah I quite like it. It's quite a good little piece of kit. Feels nice and well made. You get, did I say, you get spares with it. Spare blades. Two batteries, which I think is great, the two batteries. Because I used that battery up yesterday. And then I just swapped it over so I could keep filming. And that's got about three bars on it now. Oh, have a look. Oh, you've got to press, you've got to press it and hold it. That's it. It's probably not advisable to put it on in the box, but it's actually got four bars, and that was with the second flight for about, I don't know, three and a half minutes, four minutes. So it didn't use any power, right? So you knock it off, you just do that, press and hold. All the blue lights drop down, and it goes off. So, yep, yeah, all in all, very good. I'm happy with it. All the links will be in the description. I will be using it in other videos, so you can... You can see it. Once I get the hang of it, the uh, footage should be a lot better. <laughs> I take it off beginner mode as well, because it, it um, has a limited height. It has a limited flight height and a limited distance where it can go. So basically you can't lose it. Um, but if you take it out of beginner mode, you've got to be confident. You've got to know exactly what you're doing. So until you know exactly what you're doing, keep it on beginner mode. And then take it off. Not sure about the licensing. I'll have to check it. I thought small drones like that, you don't need a license. I'm sure there's a weight limit. And I'm sure that's under the weight limit. Again, I have to Google that. But yeah. So that's the Rook Orp drone. GM2. F5, I don't know what it is. What is it? F11 GIM2, that's it. F11 GIM2, 4K camera. And I'm processing now, so it is 4K. It's, de it's definitely coming up as 4K, so happy with that, happy. Oh, incidentally, just to say as well, when I filmed the footage in this video, it was actually quite breezy, about 11, 12 miles per hour wind. So again quite impressive okay